Hi, welcome to the Diana Inquest Blog 7, Truth Seekers, Conspiracy Nut Jobbers, of which I consider myself one, because I don't believe that what happened in the Alma Tunnel in Paris on the 31st of August was just a horrible, tragic accident. I do actually believe it was murder, most foul. And I still am looking for some truth and justice, and that definitely does make me a nut job. Well, this week, at the Diana Inquest, it was without doubt, it was the best show in town. I mean, people were coming from all over the UK just to stand in the public gallery and listen to this stuff. They were spilling out into the street, watching it on little monitors, which just goes to prove my point that a Diana dead 10 years can still sell more tickets than people just to hear about Diana than people going to see Charles and the Cornish heifer that he married. And um, I, I, think, I think I did say last week that if Dodie hadn't been in the car, we never would have got this far. But uh, his father, Mohammed Al Fayed, the Egyptian billionaire and owner of Harrods, the flagship store in London, um, got up on the stand this week. And he railed because he said, he said that um, he railed at Prince Philip. He railed at the French police, he railed at the British police, he railed at Tony Blair, the British Prime Minister. He railed at Charles and his crocodile wife. That's uh, Mohammed al fayed's words, not mine. He railed at the ambulance drivers in uh, Paris. He railed, everybody got it. And he, he said that the whole family, were no, royal family, were nothing more than a bunch of vampire bats. And they were everywhere. Um, and that Prince Philip was a fascist and a Nazi and his real name was Frankenstein and that he should go back to Germany where he belongs. Well, you know, this was great stuff. Uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't write this stuff. Anyway, I, I, I may have mentioned, I, I, I don't really know, but at, um, at, um, the, the wonder people were, were saying, this is better than a movie. Now, Mohammed, I know, com appears completely bats. And now the establishment is telling us uh, the man is mad, ergo it was an accident. Um, which is really sad and frustrating because there's actually a massive amount of truth in what Mohammed has to say. Except for the fact that Frankenstein was from Germany because really Frankenstein was from Switzerland. Awful, woofle, schlossen, something. And his name was not, was his real name was Holstein Glucksburg Schleswig Battenberg Schloss. That was Philip, not Frankenstein. And I, you can understand why he changed it to Mountbatten, because I mean, how do you get Schleswig, Glecksweg, Buttenberg, Holstein Schloss on a check? Or on a passport? Or anything like that? Or a driver's license? Well, you can't. But I believe maybe the real reason it was changed was because uh, during the First World War it was tough to be German living in England in the First World War. I mean, you couldn't even walk down the street eating a Bratwurst sandwich. Um, you had to get rid of your Dachshund as well. Um, but anyway, the truth is the whole family is of German descent and they probably do and still have many ties to fascists, Nazis and vampire bats because they're everywhere. Um, and the, the only thing I really do want to say is, Mo, you've got to hold it together because if you go off the top like that, you're going to blow the whole thing out of the water. Now, moving right along, we're doing Connect the Dots. Now, what has a, a billionaire from Liverpool, Heather the Mills and Princess Diana got in common? Well, of course, they're getting divorced. That's, Prince, that's not Princess Diana and Heather Mills, but um, Sir Paul McCartney and Heather Mills, and they're using the same lawyers as Charles and Diana used. That was Fiona Shackleton, and Heather Mills is so bats that she really thinks she can do better on her own than with a lawyer. He's offered her 50 million quid just to go away, and uh, it's not enough for her. Well, you know, she needs her personal trainer and her, you know, she needs her, her bra colour coordinator. Well, everybody needs a bra colour coordinator. I mean, where would I? I mean, I had to get rid of mine because of the recession. And I'm, I don't know where I am, you know, black, white, black, white, black, white. <gasps> and and there's, a, there's a beige one here. I, I'm lost all day. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. And um, she's bats.
We know that because they are everywhere. They're everywhere. Um, and, and I really love the comments that you're, you're making. Um, Bubba25 and Itsy Bitsy Idiot and Puka Toots and, and uh, Alexandra. Thanks for all your comments and um, I'll see you next week with all the big news from the Dharma Inquest. Bye.